the performing garage is part of a co-op. It actually was Fluxus House Number no. Three. You have to be a certified artist to buy one of those lofts, but now there's some sort of way you can waive that. So of course, as new people buy into the co-op, they want passenger elevators. You know, they want certain things that make the um, maintenance go up. And also there was a tax abatement for artists that just ended. I don't know if people know that, but our maintenance increased somewhat because of that. I mean, it's our home, it's our studio, and the only reason why we don't perform there all the time is because it's not big enough <laughs> for us to make a living. You know, even when it's sold out, we don't uh, cover costs. So we look to a house at least twice as big, at least 200 people, just to be able to exist as a company. I don't know, I, I mean, it's everything to us. I think that's why we've stayed together for so long and why we've been able to make the work the way we want to, to produce ourselves, is because we don't have a high overhead for a studio. So we have a place to go every day. I, I can't imagine, it must be just really difficult to have to organize that time and time again. I mean, I know so many people do. I never take it for granted, the performing garage.